Hi guys, it's Rach. So in an effort to create some shorter videos for you guys, I thought I would start a series of beauty tips where I just share with you one tip about something to do with makeup or hair or skincare or anything surrounding the world of beauty. And I may call them beauty bits or beauty bites or something like that because they're just bite-sized bits of information that you guys can take and apply to your makeup or beauty routine. For today's tip, we're going to talk about getting fuller looking lips because for me, ain't nobody is coming anywhere near me with a needle or any kind of injectable if I want fuller looking lips I have to fake it with lip liner so you can apply these steps with both a neutral lip or a bold lip if you're going for a bold lip like I'm going for today my first tip would be to actually apply the lip color before you start overdrawing your lips because if you apply just the lip liner you won't be able to get the full effect of how bold it's going to look and then you may overdraw your lips a little bit too much and then you'll have like this trout pat nobody wants a crazy looking trout pat so my tip is just to apply your lipstick first. I'm using the Sports Girl Pout About It lip color and this is in the shade Love Bite. And then for the lip liner I'm using the Napoleon Purtis lip liner in Berry. My next tips are about how you actually draw the line. If you want a fuller looking lip you need to line from the outside corner and work your way up to the top of your lip on both sides. If you start from the top and work your way down you're actually going to be more inclined to make the line inner and therefore make your lips look smaller. However if you start from the bottom you're more inclined to actually extend the line outside of your natural lip line. Secondly, you want to apply the lip liner in short small strokes, really buffing it into the lip line and just extending it slightly. This is also a lot easier than trying to draw your lip liner on in a single line. Even with just one side done, you can already see that this side of the lip is looking fuller than that side. Another tip is to not hold your pencil too far down. Even though you may feel like this has got a lot more control, it also means that you're pressing harder and will make it easier to make mistakes and really overemphasize the line. So hold your pencil a little bit further back. That way you still have control, but it's a lighter touch. It's the same premise for applying liner on the lower lip also. When applying your lower lip liner, it can be easier to pull your lip back over your teeth to create a smoother surface to work on. Once you're happy with how full your lips are looking, you want to take your lipstick and reapply either from the tube or with a brush and just blend where that line meets the original lipstick that you apply. You can make the look more crisp by using a nude eyeliner pencil and running it along the outer part of where you applied that lip liner. For added fullness, you can add a little bit of a highlight to the top of your cupid's bow and also to the center of your lower lip and then also some contour powder underneath your lower lip to make it seem like that lower lip is protruding more. And there you have it, fuller looking lips. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you try it out, let me know how you go in the comments below or send me a picture via any of my social media. I put all the links in the description box. This technique would be perfect for those of you who may have uneven lips, so if you have a top lip that's a little bit smaller than your bottom lip, you can definitely do this on your top lip just to make them look a little bit more even or vice versa. Other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day and I will see you all next time. Bye! Nothing ever happens if you stay in your room.